One of the items we've been playing around with recently are 10 frames. They are so versatile and you can do so many things with them. So I wanted to show you some ideas and inspirations that you can do at home with your kids involving 10 frames. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'd love it if you click the subscribe button. I do educational activities for children, ideas and inspirations to learn through play, plus giveaways and hauls sprinkled in between here and there. Don't forget, I also have a live Meet the Purple Alphabet event coming up to celebrate 10K subscribers. It's at the Lakeshore Learning Store in Carson, California. If you can come, I would love it. So there's a video that explains all the details on how to register so that we can meet in person. Finally, I can say hi to someone right in front of me instead of this camera that I'm looking at. Recently we've been working with some 10 frames in our house and they are pretty amazing because you can do a lot of math concepts, one-to-one -one correspondence, fine motor, I mean the list goes on and on. So I wanted to show you some of the things that we were doing so you can be inspired to do some at your house. So of course learning about 10 frames you would need some 10 frames. I have this set from Lakeshore Learning that I got not too long ago. You can also print out some from online. I've seen them several different places. Uh, you can even draw your own. For the very very beginner in 10 frames you can simply place one-to-one -one correspondence on to the frame like this and count one two three all the way through or you can request your child to place a certain number on the 10 frames so very easy one-to-one -one, starting out with the 10 frames I have a pack of number cards here so you could also place down flashcards or write them on a piece of paper you don't need the flashcards and then you would just have your child put that many onto the 10 frame and then if you wanted to get more complicated the next step up would be to add additional numbers for a math problem and how I would do this is you could either use the 110 frame but if you wanted to really visually show bring in a second one like this and like that to work your math problem in our house we love manipulative so you can also use other different things for the 10 frames like these little gemstones we've used those before these little counters I'll put link to all of these down below in the description box if you're interested in finding them but there's just different ways to use counters also Dollar Tree has some really great pebbles and stones that we've used before in the past that work really well besides using flashcards you can also use some dominoes if you have those already Dollar Tree sells this set that's where I got these and what's great about dominoes is that they're already divided for you so all you need to do is say this side goes on this 10 frame and this side goes on that you can make this just a one-to-one -one correspondence and counting game with your kids or you can do it as a math problem of course what would a purple alphabet video be without a free printable this one was a lot of fun it's from a teachers pay teacher account called Heather J it's free and the link will be down below so you can print it out but I thought this was really great because it's with your name so you would write your name up here in the caterpillar and then you'd write that many letters however many letters are in your name here in the 10 frame and then it says I have however many letters in my name so your child will count the letters put that here and then it says a picture is something that starts with my first letter so I thought it was a really cool way that they could count the letters in their name and also do some name practice too if you have some dice or even just a die you can do the same thing as counting on those 10 frames I like these dry erase dice they're from Dollar Tree at dollar each and you can write the numbers directly on the dice on each side and then have them roll and when they roll each one represents one of the 10 frames and the same thing you can do it as a math problem or you can do it as just a counting game and then they can roll again and redo it I do have to say what I do like about the dry erase is that you can make the numbers larger than what's on your typical die so you can make this like a 13 and then have them do the 13 on the frame so it just gives you more options to go a little bit higher than you normally would with regular set of dice here is another free printable this one is from kindergarten smarts and it is a how many more do you need to make 10 so if you're exploring tens it has it started here so you have one which is right here in your math problem and then how many more umbrellas do you need to make that 10 you can have your child go ahead and draw in the umbrellas or just do some counting you can also have them use those markers and to count this way one two three four to get the answer but really you're discovering how many it takes to make 10 Here's another one that's very similar. It's from Emily Hutchinson on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's free as well, link down below. And it's basically finding the missing number and what you need to make the 10. And the difference on this one too is that this one I like to have the bigger boxes so you could put those kinds of manipulatives in there. 
Um, this one is just a little bit smaller. So which one was your favorite? Let me know down below in the comments, or maybe you have some other ideas that I hadn't considered. I'd love to hear those as well. Don't forget we have another giveaway going on right now, and you still have time to enter to win. It's for the Flip and Check Mad Libs Activity Book. I'll put the link down in the description box if you wanna go back and check it out, because you still have time to enter. Click subscribe to see more videos like this, and give me a thumbs up to show your love.